Some years ago, my wife and I wanted to buy a house. And we needed a miracle. Because we were in some debts. And those debts wouldn't let us buy the house quite ordinarily. But God showed up for us. And we bought the house. The miracle happened. And I want to tell you how. So stick with me. Hi there, my name is Dr. Samuel Ekundayo, the Purpose Preacher. If this is your first time watching Motor Vitality on YouTube, please do subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell button as well so that you never get to miss another video. As I was saying at the intro, my wife and I, a few years ago, were trusting God to buy a house. We needed a miracle because we were in some debt. And I remember when we went to my pastor and said, Daddy, we want to buy a house. You know what he said to us? He said, makes some arrangements to pay off your debt and then come back to me. It, it, didn't, it didn't sound quite nice. I mean, we thought miracle was something that God would just do for us despite the situation we were in. But we realized <laughs> that a miracle, and I want you to write this down, a miracle is a combination of humanity and divinity at work. Any miracle where you only expect God to do his part, and you doing nothing is irresponsibility. Miracles will always involve you playing your part and God playing his part for it to happen. So we went away that day and began to make arrangements for our debts to be paid. We actually did some learning, understood how money worked, started to budget, and then start to pay our debts. And gradually as we began paying it, we went back to my pastor. And he told us more and even more. And eventually, we bought the house. My point is, any time you are trusting God for a miracle, you must find out your own part to play and begin to play it. And you will watch that your commitment and trust to that process of the miracle is what activates divinity to bring about the miracle to pass. Listen, I've checked throughout the Bible, from the Old Testament to the New Testament, I found this to be true. Remember the prophet's widow? That woman that the creditors were coming to take our sons because of the debts that our husband who died owed? Absolutely. <laughs> the man of God asked a very important question. He said, what do you have in your house? The woman said, nothing but a jar of oil. And that jar of oil was instrumental to our breakthrough. Remember in the New Testament as well, <laughs> there was a time Peter and his friends were struggling to catch fish all night. They were toiling in hard work. And then Jesus showed up on the scene. And what did Jesus say? He said, cast the net on the right side. If Peter choose not to obey, then he wouldn't get the miracle. There is a part to play in every miracle. Look throughout the scriptures. God is looking for responsible men and women who will play their part, for divinity to play its part, for miracles to be a daily occurrence in our world. If you think you're just going to get miracles without applying some principles, it will never work. See, miracles need principles for it to be sustained. The miracles need principles for them to be activated. So for that miracle you're trusting God for this week, this month, this year, find out the principles that you must apply for that miracle to kick in, for the process to kick in, and commit to the process. Literally, that is what faith is all about where you do not leave just everything in the hands of God alone, but that you do your part, and divinity plays its part, and then it becomes a sweet, sweet miracle. Your part has to do with principles, and it's your responsibility to learn those principles so that divinity can kick in its own part. And I tell you, God is always faithful. He never fails. If you do your part, God will do his part, and you will get that miracle. I do hope that you will get a miracle this month and this week.